Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. I am Om, um, that's Aldous, and tonight we've got the Don't Escape trilogy. Uh, I played these when they were Flash games back on Congregate, uh, but it's been a very long time since I've played them, so I'm going to go through them again. Hopefully I don't get stuck on these ones. I woke up in a room. The room is not locked, and I remember everything. I'm a werewolf. Tonight I will turn and people will die, unless I find a way to prevent myself from leaving this place. I must make sure that whatever happens, I don't escape. Take the rope, please. I uh, found a bunch of dried herbs. It's locked. Barrel seem to be empty and of no use to me. A solid looking table. Can I chop up the table? Found a tinder box. Uh, there was a key in one of the pockets. Doesn't fit there. Uh, the hunt, uh, the hut looks abandoned. I'll stay here for a while and figure out what to do. I hope I haven't eaten whoever lived here. Tonight there's a full moon. Just as I expected, the witch talked in riddles. She said that to weaken the beast, I would need a handful of hot dust, a crunchy herb, and something that grows in earth yet is not a plant. She also mentioned that it would wear off quite fast. Pot is filled with cold water has no ammunition. A broom. I don't need this. Fireplace is empty. Picked up some chopped wood logs. Could use those planks. Is there anything else in here? empty. Nope. Logs. Herb. Put the herb in the pot. A handful of hot dust, a crunchy herb, and something that grows in the earth yet is not a plant. Mushroom. There was a chain under the roof. What would hot dust be? of a tender box. Okay, we can do that. Is there anything else we can do? What would hot dust be? Something is missing. 
Oh, we need ammunition, don't we? What are you? A spice. Oh, that was probably it. A piece of meat. Uh, spice. Put the spice in the pot. Boiling, uh, water is boiling. Potion seems ready. Taking the potion. Has no ammunition. Um, put the meat on the hook. There. Let's feed the beast. Is there a key down here by any chance? I don't see it. Hunter must have lived here. Key doesn't fit there. Where does the key go to then? There's nothing up, is there? seem to be empty and of no use to me. I guess let's try ending the day. Transformation was complete. He was feeling a bit dizzy, but not that much. He bit off the rope that was restraining him. Then he struggled with the chain for, the for a while. The meat on the hook provided distraction, but not for long. He ate it fast. Door was blocked, so he tried the window. It took him some time to break the lock. At last, the werewolf was free. 35%. Werewolf attacked the village and killed three people, partly eating one of them alive. One of the villagers was bit, but lived. He considered himself lucky, at least until the next full moon. While the werewolf was busy killing, a party of monster hunters arrived. They cornered the beast and wounded it. The bleeding werewolf had escaped into the woods. So let's try that again. Uh, rope. Mushroom. Wood axe. Uh, chain. Oh, there it goes. I did not even see that. Uh, a root. I'll take those. Where is the key for the lock? <clears throat> Lock the door. Okay. So we need to do that as well. Where's the key for the box? That's what I want to know. seem to work. A 
bed. Can use wood tender box. Meat. Nothing else down there. Try the roots, the spice, the herb. Can I add in the mushroom as well? I can, okay. Taking the potion. Planks go here. There it is. Okay. I did not see that. Hammer and some nails. Is that for the window? There we go. Anything else in there? Alright, let's try it now. Transformation is complete. Weakening potion didn't work at all. Oh no. Uh, bit off the rope that was restraining him. He struggled with the chain for a while. Meat on the hook was provided distraction. Not for long. Started ramming the blocked door. It took him some time to break the lock. So we need to figure out what the potion is. I think we've got all the pieces that we need. We just need to get the potion right. Alright, let's try this one more time. There we go. Are we good to go? Transformation was complete. Werewolf is hungry, craving for flesh. He bit off the rope that was restraining him. Then he struggled with the chain for a while. The meat on the hook provided distraction, but after eating it, he felt very dizzy. He started ramming the blocked door. It took him some time to break the, the lock. At last, the werewolf is free. We did it. A calm night. Aftermath. A calm night. The werewolf broke free from the hut, but it took him much time and effort. Weakened by the poison, tired from ramming the door, he had no strength left. He fled to the woods, unnoticed by anyone. Alright. So that was the first Don't Escape game. Um, I didn't like that the key was hidden, the, the golden key. Uh, I clicked on the bed a few times and didn't get it, but uh, I clicked under the bed and got it just kind of by accident. Um, I didn't realize that there were two separate hitboxes there. Um, pouring the potion on the meat was pretty clever. Uh, I probably wouldn't have thought of that just because they seem like two, two, separate, um, two separate items to me. All right? Don't escape two.
When the undead attacked, we weren't ready. Thinking back, we were never fully ready for this. The whole outbreak started over two weeks ago, and it's been getting worse ever since. This time, we've barely made it. We got away, but Bill got bitten. We both knew what that meant. We decided to stay in this abandoned building for a while. We need rest to rest and sleep. A huge horde of the living dead is coming this way. They will reach us by sunset. I have to lock this place up before that happens. And maybe, just maybe, I will live to see another day. So we've got the door again. My friend Bill, he's been bitten. This pain, can't stand the pain. Some sand inside, a window. A shovel. Have to find a way to open the hatch. Something is missing. Good place for a trap. Um, there's a pair of copper wires and a key. There's a nine millimeter bullet hidden in the hole. A uh, small metal cutter. Can I use that on the lock? Key don't fit there. There. Looks like a good place to hide. Seems to be out of fuel. Could fix it with some spare wire fence. I think it's out of order and out of gas. Painkillers. Uh, it's my lucky day, a single coin. Uh, seven hours, 15 minutes left. Hi there, I'm Jeremy. Card is held in place with a chain. Shopping cart for moving heavy items. So we should come here first. Child's drawing. I hope they're okay, whoever and wherever they are. Instant camera, no batteries. Empty register. Bottle of alcohol. I have to get rid of that undead first. Not with my bare hands. Uh, sorry, I can't see you clearly. I've lost my glasses. I will help you gladly if you find my glasses. Alright, so let's head out. For now, I think the fuel tank is intact. I have to find a way to get that fuel. I got two bullets. Batteries in the camera. Oh. I see. So I need a hose first. There's the axe. It's too heavy to carry around like that. lost my faith.
child's drawing. Hi there, I'm Jeremy. Thank you, I will turn in return I will help you. Let's go, lead the way. Oh, uh maybe maybe you're right. I think I'll go with you. Maybe my faith is somewhere out there. Let's leave this place. Alright, I need a hose. Fix it with some spare wire fence. Mortar. You're still in pain, right? Drunken passed out. At least he's peaceful now. Oh. I think I'm missing a key somewhere. What is that? Ah, wire fence. There's nothing else down here. something I think the fuel tank is intact no fuel sticks.
9 millimeter bullet. I can load that into the gun. Can I... No. There we go. Short rubber hose. All the fish are dead. Someone, uh, criminal stories by someone called Eldak. So where did we get the axe? Was that back at the base? Christ, why is everybody fucking calling me? Uh, we don't have that time. All right. So I think, given everything we've done... Generators running connected to the fence. Close the door. Get into the hatch, close the hatch. Start the time for 40. Sun has set and a horde of 50 undead arrive. Your reckless shooting has caused additional 5 living dead to show up. Broken fence didn't stop anyone. 20 undead f creatures fell into the hole, piercing themselves against the pointy sticks placed inside. Breaking up the window was a good idea. 10 undead corpses tried into your hideout through the window, but ended up helplessly scratching the bricks. Closed door held up long enough to take 5 meat craving freaks to lose interest and wander off. Bill was not given any sign signs of life for a while now, until that moment when he suddenly stood up, joining the ranks of the undead. You were hiding in the cellar, hearing angry growls above your head. The hatch was squeaking under the feet of the undead. It finally broke and five undead fell inside the cellar, instantly breaking their necks. They were no longer a threat. However, the remaining 16, one by one, fell inside, safely landing on the corpses of the predecessors. Facing the enemy, you drew your gun. Blam, blam. You shot two rotting monsters right in the head. Click. You ran out of ammo. Ten members of the Horde attacked Jeremy, tearing him to pieces. Father Bernard covered you with his own body, and four members of the Horde started biting and eating him alive. You quietly sneaked past the monsters, devouring, devouring your friends. You have survived the night. It's time to move on and leave this place. Uh, don't escape too. Complete the game and survive. I think we can get a better ending, though. So there's a key in the trash. There's a pair of copper wires in the trash. Take the bullet, take the metal cutter. Uh, generator is not running. Broken gate. Go to the church. Get the axe. Take the, the bullet. Head here. Take that, take that. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Smash open the door. Get the hose. Uh, 
Are you sure you want to use the fuel in the car? You will not have any fuel left in the canister. The surrounding roads are blocked by derelicts. You won't be able to simply drive away, but travel time around the area will be reduced and you'll no, no longer need a shopping cart for heavy items. Do I want that? Let's do that. There's no fuel left in it. picture of that. We want that fence. I have a car to transport heavy things. Um, can we use the axe on you? Nope. So yeah, I don't know what to do about this buddy. to the father. I think we have to shoot the zombie. Let me check real quick. Looks like we have to shoot him. So, where are our bullets and where's our gun? Come here. Uh. Got the glasses. Survivor. Broken gate. Yes. Take the thing back. There's no fuel left in it. Guess not. Um, dig. got the things from the forest. I wish I could take the hose back. Bill is drunk and doesn't realize what is going to happen. Are you sure you want to use the axe and kill your friend Bill? It's going to be messy and probably will take a few hits to finish him. At least you would put an end to his misery. Is 
So you're closed. I don't have any time left. I wonder if there's an extra place to get fuel somewhere. All right, let's run it. Sun is set and a horde of 50 undead arrive. Your reckless shooting has caused additional five living dead to show up. The fence was your first line of defense. It stopped 15 rotting monsters. 20 rotting monsters fell into the hole. Uh, breaking up the window was a good idea. 10 hungry undead tried to enter your hideout through the window, but ended up helplessly scratching the bricks. Closed door held up long enough to make five undead creatures lo lose interest and wander off. You're hiding in the cellar, hearing angry growls above your head. The hatch was squeaking under the feet of the undead. There weren't enough of them to collapse the hatch. After several hours, the moaning stopped as the undead wandered away. We did it. And then there was silence. You, Jeremy, and Father Bernard have survived the night. It's time to move on and leave this place. The Savior, survive and save both your friends. All right, that was really good. I like that one. It's probably my favorite one so far. All right, don't escape three. I woke up with a terrible headache, like if someone hit my head really hard. Things were coming back to me slowly. I knew I was the pilot of the starship, the UEFS Horizon. But I had no idea how I wound up here. I also had no idea of what I didn't like more. The fact that I woke up in the ship's airlock, or the fact that the computer was counting down to something. Uh, unable to comply. Unable to comply. There we go. Need an access card to open the casing. Door is locked. Without a spacesuit, that would be suicide. Mission log. We've located what is left of the derelict. Something tore it apart like a tin can. We've found, some, we've found something among the debris. Remains. I think they're human remains. We also found some strange glowing crystal attached to the bones. We brought it on board for further analysis. Dr. Grodberg will perform tests in the laboratory. Rick says there was another crystal floating in space. We'll have to check that later. Uh, corridor airlock. Accessing ship status. Navigation is offline. Communications are offline. Warning, life support is offline. Air will run out in one hour, zero minutes. Distress call activated. Warning, possible intruder alert. Requires an access card. He's dead. I didn't know him well. His name was Rick, I think. Plasma torch. Someone stepped on it. It's crushed and useless. A welding mask. It's too dark to see anything. It's held by some screws. This will be useful. We got a fuse puzzle. He's dead, strangled, Captain. <coughs> mission orders. Your mission is to investigate the anomalous readings in the sector. We have detected what may be a signature of one of our mining ships that went missing a few years ago. Move to the designated coordinates and scan the area. If any signs of the lost ship are detected, investigate and report back. Security camera feed is not available in this area. Uh, there was an eye there. Navigation systems are disabled, probably damaged. Uh, this is UEFS Warsaw. We've picked up your distress call and we are setting our course to intercept. Be advised we won't be able to reach you for two days. From your signal, we know that your life support system has failed. If you are unable to make repairs, use an escape pod and await our arrival. Good luck. 
So if we can get on the escape pod, we should be okay. It's empty. The valve wasn't closed. Fuse box. One fuse is missing. I've inserted the fuse into the fuse box. Uh, initial test, Dr. Amanda Grodberg. Subject is what appears to be an upper half of a human remains. All the soft tissue is de uh, decomposed, which suggests that death occurred long before its exposure to the vacuum of space. There is a large crystal form attached to the bones in the ab abdominal region. The crystal itself produces a bright blue light. Despite being highly energetic, no other forms of radiation have been observed. However, it seems to be emitting subtle acoustic vibrations. Further tests are required. It's locked. I've taken some antibiotics. Centrifugal, mi uh, centrifugal mixture. I can use it to mix components. Chemical analyzer. I can use it to analyze components. Uh, crystal dissolvent formula. Um, three times this, four times this, and two times this amplifies explosive materials. Use with care. Won't open. Uh, the crystal is holding the door in place. The sink. Won't budge. Console is locked. We need a tool of some sort. Doesn't have any fuel. Put you in here. Recent chemical analysis results. Uh, two of this, one of this. So I need three more of this and three of this. spacesuit the only thing that's in here why are three of the spacesuits missing so much blood everywhere a knife uh standard meal ration Today's dessert. Alcohol. Stack of detergent bottles. Fuel tank for a plasma torch. A data disk. Workshop blueprints. Taking some plant leaves. It's locked, but why? You need a code for that. Uh, chemical analyzer. A uh, bottle of detergent. Uh, so what do we got? Chemical analysis, detergent, uh, detergent plus plant cells, no. Plant cells plus alcohol, we need something else. Without protection, plasma fur will burn my eyes out. Mm -hmm. 
Someone must have dropped the key. Not that one. Protective glasses. Acid bottles. Uh, plant cells. Whatever we're missing, I think, is the one that we need. That is a really cool effect. <laughs> Deadly Vapors, an access card. Could repair it with some tools. Access card. Is that good? I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, tools. Task will take 20 minutes, yes. Killed by vapors. Ship's power core. I better leave this alone. Whatever I pour in here ends up in the fire sprinklers. Modern 3D printing machine. I don't know if I need any of this stuff, though. Someone broke it, releasing the toxic vapors. Anything else in here that we need? No. Blood, blood sample. analysis. So, plant cells, alcohol, and blood cells. Three, two, four. Yeah. Plant cells. Alcohol and blood cells. Uh, 
activate fire fire sprinkler and is it in the isolation ward at least 10 liters of circulated water found zero problems Isn't that what I just used the thing for? I think I must have done that wrong. That's not great. Life support system has been destroyed. Zero life support active. The system is inf insufficient. Air reserves still decrease. Crystal dissolvent, three, two, four. Oh no. Uh, what is it? Plant cells, blood cells, and antibiotic. Plant cells, blood cells, and antibiotic. That's it. All right. So let's get an ending. Ship's contamination level 100. Something on board the horizon killed everyone and tried to kill you. It had to be stopped. You didn't manage to open the lab's door, leaving its dark secret to be discovered by the rescue party. Your escape pod was picked up by the rescue ship. All contact with the rescue ship UEFS Warsaw was lost a few hours after her crew picked up the escape pod. The ship remains missing. Uh, escape the UEFS Horizon beat all three games. Um, let's do a new game. Is um just letting us get blasted out the airlock good an ending? I just want to see what happens. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. We This ended really fast for you. In your last moments, you could not have even realized that the rescue party will meet a far worse end. Uh, spaced. That's the fast way out. Alright. Three hours added. Isolation ward. There we go, I did it right this time. Uh, Dr. Amanda Grodberg, poor soul. Uh, I was wrong, really wrong. The corpse didn't uh, rot for any period of time. It's been consumed by the crystal. It's been growing inside. Uh, burst that man open and contain, continue to grow, using soft tissues as building material. I think this is what happened to the, gru, uh, the crew of the destroyed ship, and we might be next. As for now, I'm working on a formula for something that would dissolve the crystal, or at least weaken it, so it may be destroyed by force. Uh, an explosion might work. The sound is getting louder. What is that? Explosives with no igniter? We found these mummified remains in space. It makes me really uneasy and tense. Even after partly melting down, it's still spreading. 
My god, it's growing in her head. Alright, so what do we need here? Three, four, two. Uh, I need... Bottle of acid. Don't need more plants. What else was there? He's dead strangled. Where's the alcohol at? Do I have the alcohol? I don't have the alcohol. Four and two. And if I can do math, <clears throat> antibiotic, alcohol, and plant cells, that would be three, four, two. Antibiotic, plant cells, alcohol. Three, four, two. Strong explosives with no igniter, so I need an igniter somewhere. Can I 3D print an igniter? Portable igniter. Construction complete. Have a nice day. Powerful bomb. Uh, use data pad to de uh, detonate. Something on board the horizon killed everyone and tried to kill you. It had to be stopped. Dr. Grodberg's chemical recipe worked as intended, weakening the crystal and making it vulnerable. You tried to destroy it with a bomb by blowing up the whole ship, just to be sure. Blew it out the goddamn airlock. Powerful blast left nothing behind, or at least that's what you hoped. Still, you never learned the entire truth. Your escape pod was picked up by the rescue ship. All contact with the rescue ship UEFS Warsaw was lost a few hours after her crew picked up the escape pod. Uh, the ship remains missing. So I think if we don't go to the escape pod and we just do it in the... Bridge, maybe? Will that work?
Yeah, open the exterior door. Okay. Could jump there, but how would I get back? Another crystal. I must have missed it previously. Can't detonate from here. Okay. Toss the crystal in with the rest of them. Um, where do I find the code for that one door? Condensator. Uh, data pad Mark II processor. Not available. Does that do anything for us? Security camera feed in this area has been corrupted and cannot be displayed. You can recover the video, but restoring the feed will require the user's attention. Process will take approximately 15 minutes. Restore more corrupted video feeds to reveal the passcode. Okay. So much blood everywhere. Is it wherever there's a body? Someone wearing a spacesuit appears. No, he probably used a weapon or a tool. What's happening? I, I don't know what it wants from me. Oh, there it goes. Bash. Seven, nine. Not available in this area. Security cam, 
Yes. Ow. Seven nine two. Seven nine two five. Dude is empty. And it has my name tag. It's growing inside of me. I went to sleep and it used me to kill everyone. And then it tried to get rid of me in the airlock. I'm infected. Captain's access card. Are these the same beds from Don't Sleep? Uh, Captain's access card. Uh, someone is killing the crew. Rick is dead. Jeff is dead. I've locked myself up on the bridge. I will send a distress call in. Captain? Oh my god. Lieutenant, is that you? Yes, please let me in. I've locked the killer in the bunk room. Hang on, I'll open the door for you. Sounds of a struggle. Log ends. Deactivate safety. Self-destruct system has been damaged. Unable to comply. Can I just detonate from here? Yes, I can just detonate. Okay. Ship's contamination level, 100%. Something on board the horizon killed everyone and tried to kill you. It had to be stopped. Dr. Grodberg's chemical recipe worked as intended, weakening the crystal and making it vulnerable. He tried to destroy it with a bomb by blowing up the whole ship, just to be sure. Powerful blast left nothing behind, or at least that's what you hoped. When you opened the bunk room, you learned the truth. The crystal had possessed you. Somehow, those quiet acoustic vibrations were enough for it to spread and start growing inside your body. You knew there was no way out of it, so you did what had to be done. When you detonated the charges, the explosion consumed you to, uh, together with the crystal. The UEFS Warsaw found nothing more than scrap metal floating in space. They will never learn what really happened. We did it. Lost in space, make sure no one finds out about the UEFS something. Uh, learn the truth behind the Horizon murders. All right, I'm going to leave that there. All right, so that was the Don't Escape trilogy. Um, I liked Don't Escape 2 the best, I think, uh, but I did like uh, Don't Escape 3. Um, I think Don't Escape 3 was the most involved. Uh, when you have, like, a lot of different parts like that, it could be easy to, like, lose things while shuffling around. I think he did a really good job of managing, uh, the different, um, the different resources that you had. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I got confused about in that game. I think that the only thing was that I, I think that you should be able to, um, uh, no, because you had the safety protocols. Yeah, there was something that I was thinking you should be able to do, but I, I guess that uh, I've just uh, forgotten what it was. So, um, I don't think that there was anything that really annoyed me in those games. Uh, I do wonder in Don't Escape 2 if there's any way to get the, um, get the fuel for the car and also get the fuel for the, um, the generator. Um, Don't Escape 1, the only thing was, um, 
not thinking about adding the uh, the potion to the meat because it felt like there were two different items there. So, yeah. I don't think I had any major complaints. I think that they were very solid, uh, especially for old Flash games. You did a good job of making sure that everything worked and all of the resources um, fit together. So, yeah. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. We'll see you in the next video. Good night.